And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Um, last time we re-enabled the main power so that we could finally get to deck 4. Uh, we could actually use this elevator, however before we get to go to deck number 4, I actually want to um, go to the chemical storage room, which is somewhere through these, which can be reached um, this verdict tunnel so this is if we keep to the right I think we should yes if we keep to the right then we should eventually get there so we shall do that um, okay this is not the right way is it okay we're getting there um, and the frame rate is going berserk and I was attacked by one of these creatures and the frame rate is still very much berserk uh, okay I'm sorry I'm very okay uh, I think it, okay, it has not st stabilized um, Yeah, I'm very sorry also for the abysmal frame rate that you have to suffer through right now. Ah, and this is the chemical storage room that I wanted to visit. Okay, so we do need a chemical in order to research this, namely um, os osmium, which should be right here. Okay, we have picked this up. Ah, and we've used it in research. Okay. Now we can uh, leave. Yes, okay. We should use another mad type before we do that, and then. Yeah. We should now go back the way we came, which means that we have to keep to the left, I suppose. And hope that um, the. Well, actually, no. Um, we probably do want. Okay, um, I guess it doesn't matter. So we do want to get to the exit. I mean, the, to the area. Um, for, ah, for which we entered um, this area because we want to equip our laser pistol. And just in case one of those worms should reappear, I have equipped my shotgun. Okay. Um, and there's some strange glitch. Some strange graphical glitch there. Um, but actually, no, it's probably not a glitch. I think I enabled some sort of compass. Uh, Okay. it. Change weapon. Speed toggle. Ah, the compass hot. Okay. Um. Actually, it's quite useful. I think I will shall keep that enabled. Okay. Um. Let's drop the. Okay. Let's unload the pistol first. Uh. Unlocked. Okay. And then. Okay, this is poor, so we shall drop this. They change this for the. Oh. Uh, we do not have enough inventory space. Okay. So I guess we shall drop the things that we don't really need. Like this. Um, unresearched object. Or this French Epstein device. Um, I think I shall... Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to drop something. Um, uh, I don't need... A, I don't need this Psy implant. Uh, and I don't need... Hmm. Well, I don't need the French Epstein device right now. Which means I can make up some... Inventory space. Um, hmm. 
Okay, let us drop the the, the boost implant also. Okay. Um, now we can pick up the laser pistol. Um, okay, question is should I... Maybe I should use the elevator that's upstairs. Or maybe I shouldn't, uh, actually. Um. Okay, I'm having slight trouble getting up this. Um. Okay, um, let's recharge, I mean, charge our... Ah, it was somewhere else, actually. Um, I wanted to say let's charge our laser pistol. Okay, somewhere should, in here should be... Um, should be a recharge station. Ah, and there's... Okay, let us actually do something uh, which makes sense, namely... Let us first of all hack the security system and then hack the security turret. Uh, where is the security station? Yeah, okay. Let's hack the security station and then let's hack the turret. Okay, um... Okay. Um... At the... Frame right. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I'm very much not welcomed here. I'm getting the message. Help! 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 Okay. Uh. We shall get the fuck out of here. Uh, okay, um, where was that research, that recharge station? Um, hmm. Can't find it. And, uh, I'm very much scooch if that, that robot sh should get to me. Ah, I think there was a research uh, station, or was it? Yeah, there there was a, a research research recharge station. Shall also hack this turret and this one too. Okay. Uh, and then we shall now finally. Get out of here. Um, have we actually researched this other object? We birth in our new flesh. No. Uh, it has disappeared for some reason. Uh, ah. The annelid gland. This gland secretes a prolific mix of hormones and stimulatory enzymes. In a quickly dividing layer of cells spawns of multiple circulati blah, circulatory cells. These cells seek out damage and graft themselves into the tissue, taking on the characteristics of the local host tissue in a matter of moments. Recommendation. The sh shared, sh shared tissue compatibilities between human and animal tissue will allow this gland to be used for healing, though not as fully as it would in an analyte host. 
once removed from the host body, it can only be used once. Um, so it appears that we now heal using these organs, I suppose. You've learned how to best target the hybrid for maximal damage. All damage will increase by 25%. Okay. Are, are, um, are. Maybe we will read this uh, later. Yeah. Shit. Um. Let us go to deck. Actually, let us go to the... Okay, I already clicked on... Actually, um... Damn. Something's blocking the shaft, and the elevator can't reach deck four. I'm attempting to determine. I'm detecting massive quantities of some kind of biomaterial that's plugging up the elevator shaft. The environment on this level has been altered to be some kind of breeding chamber for the xenomorphs. It oh. shouldn't prove dangerous unless you plan to stay for more than a few hours. But in order to clear the shaft, you're going to have to remove the biomaterial. Yeah. I'm accessing the primary data loop. Let's see what we can find out there. Okay, um, I think we now have time to read this. Okay. DNA structure indicates that this organism is a hybrid of human host and parasitic organism. Although the parasite resembles a yard long worm, sorry, um, although the parasite resembling a yard long worm has deteriorated to a stage beyond useful analysis, the effects of this process are evident. Severe deterioration of higher level mental processes is caused by tumorous growth along the spinal column and brainstem. This non human tissue seems to be formed of a composite of small worm like of small worm like creatures that have adapted into the host's body and taken over the majority of motor control and decision decision making functions. Yeah. Hence, the organism produces exceptional amounts of both adrenaline and endorphins, making it remarkably strong and aggressive. What remains cannot be called human at all. This damage done to the host will be, by the process, is irrevocable and the organism now functions with no sense of mor morality or hesitation. Recommendation, the organism is vulnerable to the same forms of stimuli as a human. However, changes in its physiology suggest chemistry more complex than is currently understood. For further analysis of similar organisms might provide more insight into this area. Okay. So apparently, um, yeah, these worms somehow assemble themselves to this uh, well, tubular structure. I know you won't get this until after we return, but I've had to express how incredible I feel. We finally done it, made contact, and Muldoon and I have been selected to be involved in the initial work. Anatoly's one condition is that I tell no one aboard the ship. The creatures are remarkable. They're so helpless, I feel somehow compelled to protect them. It's a miraculous discovery. Hmm. Okay. Um, so apparently they made contact with an alien life form on Tau Ceti. Yeah. Um that maybe influence them using psi abilities, I would guess. Um ah. And there is okay. Um, there is a security turret there, and there is a security camera. Um, I think we shall okay make a run for it. Um, okay. Um, these crates are empty. Hmm. Uh. Don't mind me, uh, at all. Bye there. Okay, um, 
And when we come back, folks, we shall try to disable the security system, I suppose. So until next time, folks, until then.